In this video, we're gonna learn everything you need to know about autotune in order to make your vocal sound professional. We're gonna go for this. You are the reason I can be loved. To this. You are the reason I can be loved. Welcome to another video, guys. And if you want to be an autotune wizard, well, then this video is for you. Or maybe not, because I'm not that professional with it. But I'm sure you're gonna learn something new, so let's jump right into it. If you don't know what autotune is, well, autotune is a pitch correction VST that can adjust your vocal notes to a certain key or scale. It won't do magic to terrible singers, but it will fix average ones, just like me. First thing you need to do is record some vocals. I recorded an improvised example for this. So now let's start messing with autotune. So this is how the raw vocals sound. Okay, so these notes weren't hit terribly, but autotune can help us go to the next level. So we're gonna open it up for the vocals and see what's going on. You are the reason I can be loud. Right, so the first thing you need to do is to select the input type. This will tell autotune which frequency range to correct. If your voice is really, really low, then you should select low male, and then the higher your voice, the higher the preset. Okay, so we go to alto tenor, and then the last one, soprano. I sang in a sort of like alto tenor way, so I guess I should go for that one. But I recently learned from the creator of autotune that these presets do pretty much the same. The only difference is they correct different versions of the frequency range. So what happens is that soprano will correct everything, and I'm not sure about these values, okay? I would have to check it out, but for example, from 1K and above, then alto tenor would correct for like 200 and above, and then low male will correct everything on the frequency range. And that's exactly what I want, because if we open up the EQ and check our vocal, you are the reason I can be loved. We understand that my vocals are occupying the whole frequency range, and when I cut them out, you are the reason I can be loved. I still have some information on around 100 to 200 hertz, and I guess that the low male preset does correct that. So we want to correct the full vocal, not just the most part. Okay, so after we've done that, we need to select our key and scale. Always make sure the key of the song you're working on. For mine, I selected D and then the scale, I selected major. If you don't know what all these scales are, one that you can use when you're not sure of the scale is to use the chromatic one. So the chromatic one, if I'm not mistaken, will correct all of your pitch notes to the closest ones. All right, so now that we have that sorted, let's start messing with autotune. The first button we're gonna be messing with is the retune speed button. This parameter controls how fast autotune corrects the pitch of incoming vocals. Higher values lead to quicker correction can result in a more obvious autotune effect, while lower ones allow for a more natural sounding correction. And don't be mistaken by the values 400 and 0, when I say going higher is going from left to right, okay? So this is high and this is low, even though numerically it doesn't make much sense because this is 0 and this is 400. So let's start adding a bit of retune speed, and if we go all the way high up to 0, we will get that T-Pain robotic effect. So this is without retune speed. Yeah. The reason I can be loved. And then with the return speed to zero. You are the reason I can be loved. Okay, and it does sound a bit robotic. So if you want to go for that zero return speed, go ahead. I want to go for a more natural one. So let's maybe go in between 10 to 20, which I think sounds a bit more natural. Let's see. You it. are the reason I can be loved. You can see that autotune is already doing some work. Now we're gonna move on to the flex tune. Flex tune pretty much just preserves the singer's vocal gestures. It allows you to adjust the amount of pitch correction that occurs near the natural pitch of the input. Meaning that a higher flex tune allows for a more natural pitch correction, while a lower setting makes pitch correction more aggressive. So if we start going up, can be low. You are the reason. If we put the flex tune to zero, we understand that autotune is barely correcting the vocal, and then if we but it's lower values. It starts correcting it a bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit so we preserve a bit of my vocal gestures, but not too much, so that it doesn't even correct the pitch of my vocals. The reason I can be loved. Okay, I like it like this. 15 sounds good to me. By the way, if you need some help with your projects and with vocal recording and processing, you can hit me up at my email down in the description for one on one music classes. I can really help you get to the professional level. M maybe.
Next, we move on to the Humanize parameter, which is a button that adds realism to sustain notes when using fast retune speeds. This feature helps to preserve some of the natural nuances in the performance, giving it a more human feel by introducing some subtle pitch variations. So, as you can see at Autotune, it says add realism to sustain notes at high retune speeds, so if we start going up, the more we go up, the more human it will sound. And I recorded a second vocal just so we could get those sustain notes, alright? So let's play out with the Humanize for this one, and let's start without. Okay, you can see that here it goes really fast. Let's maybe take it out and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna put a bit more just so it doesn't correct that fast. And make it a bit more realistic. Then the last main button we need to take a look at is the natural vibrato one. This pretty much increases or decreases the range of the vibrato that is already present in the vocal. So if you want to bring our vibrato all the way up, we just need to increase this button, okay? So let's try with the long vocals. Okay, you see it really brings up my natural vibrato all the way up and it sounds kind of terrible. Let's see it on the, the first part of the vocals and see how it sounds. The reason I can be loved. So this love it starts going like this. So let's try to remove all the vibrato, and that probably will make it sound more robotic. So let's go. Let's see for the longer vocal. Okay, then with. Right, since I'm happy with the vibrato I did for my recording, I'm not gonna even add or reduce any of it, all right? So let's leave it at around zero. And that was it. These are the four main basic buttons of Autotune and pretty much the only ones you need to understand to get some decent results. But there's one last one that I like to use, which is the throat length one. And the throat length pretty much is a parameter that simulates the length of the vocal tract. And this can be used to modify the vocal quality in the way it sounds. If we experiment on these vocals and we start messing with the throat length, we're gonna see that they start to sound lower or higher. So let's go up. You are the reason I can be low. Then lower. So it really messes with the vocal track and for my vocals especially I like to give it a bit of throat length so I go to the right side to the upper side and I stay around like 105 104 I might go up to 110 but that is it for my vocals okay so let's see it so this is normal you are the reason and there we go I can be low. And this makes my vocal sound a bit lower, okay, which I really like. And that is it. So now to take to this to the professional level, we just need to mix the vocals, balance out the volumes, add some reverb and delay, and it should sound pretty nice. So I'll do that really quick for you, and let's see the final result. Okay, so this is how it should sound after we add some processing. You are the reason I can be loved. Even though they sound a bit metallic because of the way I recorded them in my solar vocal, that would be just easily fixed by trying to record again and warming up your voice a bit more. And especially in the context of the song, this would sound nice. Okay, so let's listen to the before and after. You are the reason I can be loved. You are. You the reason I can be loved. You are. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you. Let me know which videos I should make next in the channel. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and the like button. And again, if you need some help with your projects, don't forget to hit me at my email down in the description. And that is it. Happy productions. I'll see you around. Take care.